have this one on the board because some of you have really sharp eyes. So I wanted this one to be a surprise. Nobody would be expecting it. I owe it to our friends down under. They've been all over me in the comments after I did Joe Bonamassa and Jimmy Barnes, Stone Cold. They do a cover of Lazy by Deep Purple. That's one of my favorite bands coming up, and I do know the song. Never heard Joe Bonamassa and Jimmy Barnes do it, but after seeing Stone Cold, I'm really fired up to see this version. Curious to see Joe and the tone on the guitar, what guitar he's playing, how he plays this lead. This is Richie Blackmore, original Lazy, and a great guitar player from Deep Purple. And then, of course, Jimmy Barnes vocally. I just got to see it, so I saved it for Friday. It's Friday afternoon uh, now, just a few minutes after noon. It's the middle of the night down under, so when our friends from Australia wake up, maybe they'll get a chance to check this out and have their coffee. <laughs> Lazy, Jimmy Barnes and Joe Bonamassa. Let's go. <laughs> Don't you like it when it starts like this? They're kind of in the studio. This may be a studio version, probably is, but the smiling and the good times about to begin. I will critique this song. I love the tone and I'm going to be tough on this. I'm going to critique the heck out of this song. I've heard this song a thousand times. It's one of my favorite Deep Purple songs. So we're going to see if this holds water. <laughs> got nowhere to stop in this man the keyboard player you may have mentioned it I forgot his name but John Lord is the keyboard player for purple and he is the best keyboard player in my opinion that I've ever seen and heard in my life this guy the way his style of playing I think may have been influenced by him who wasn't if you're a key player let me know who that dude is these guys are tight and they rock and roll that tone is badass and so far this is freaking fire
you guys, if you don't know, some of my friends here in America, Europe, the Orient, I don't care where you're at, Australia, the moon. So Deep Purple, front man, going off memory here, Ian Gillum, great vocally. There's not many better, but Jimmy Barnes is, you know, that good or better. Uh, Roger Glover on bass, Richie Blackmore lead, John Lord on keys, and then the drummer Ian Pace was a great 70s band. I think they still tour to, the, to today uh, with some kind of lineup. I haven't kept track of them in years since that original band really broke up, but these guys are good. They're good. I'm sure the band is proud if they've seen this. afternoon on Friday. Man, I hope you hold on to your coffee cups. 
in a few hours here, my friends down under. <laughs> that was fun, man. I got a lot to say about it, too. I hope I can remember everything because I'm just overwhelmed right now with that. If you have never seen Lazy by Deep Purple, a live version, or even the, the studio version, and listen to it, and listen to the vocals by Ian Gillum and how he can scream and the range he has and the way that Richie and the rest of the band play the song, it will give you an appreciation of how well that was done. That version right there, I don't know that I've heard another version of Lazy besides Deep Purple. I mean, I've heard it live and heard it studio uh, by Deep Purple different versions, but I don't recall anybody doing Lazy, but Jimmy Barnes and Joe Bonamassa and that band just shredded just ripped it up, man. Just did it so good. What kind of good justice they did. I don't know. I almost don't have all the words I need to describe how I felt inside watching that. I know the song. I am qualified to critique it as good as anybody. When I say I've heard it a thousand times, I'm probably leaving off 9,000. I've heard it 10,000 times. That was just outstanding. That was outstanding. This is how you start your weekend. Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to express my gratitude of all the comments, all the love and support and kindness in the comments and the comedy. I love it when you guys are cracking jokes or cutting it up with me. That just is really what we're all about here. The music, having fun, getting to know each other, having some kind of line of communication even though we're not face to face. I'd love to be face to face with all of you and have a great conversation. We'll have to settle for this uh, with this for now. But from all over the world, I read all the comments. I take it all in. I write down your suggestions. I listen to the stories. I love the stories. I love storytelling. I like to tell them. I like to read. So it makes it worthwhile. I hope you guys are having fun like I am. I know everybody's having fun or trying to have fun, and they might be having as much fun. But nobody's having more fun than I am. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday.